What's going on nerds, Mark here, and we're back with another tech review. In this one, we're gonna unbox, install, and review the Master Liquid 360 Atmos from Cooler Master. Stick around. Oh hey. Our special guest, Jose, this time in a funky outfit. So here are our accessory boxes for both Intel and AMD. We're gonna be using AMD. This is Intel socket, this is AMD socket. And then this is just accessories. Ooh. So now that we have everything unboxed, it's time to get that cooler into our PC. Okay, so on the last review, the Cooler Master Master Liquid 360L scored actually seven degrees Celsius higher than a competitor's two fan radiator liquid cooler. So if you can go from the two fan to the three fan size and get a seven degree Celsius difference, I wanna see if you can actually get an improvement over just two different three fan products. Same brand, although it is their new product. So you would think their new products are improved. So that's the real review here, is we're gonna see if the new Cooler Master product can work any cooler than the old products. This is the new one. This is the new one with the new header. And then here's the old one. And as for just a comparison of the radiators, it's exactly the same. So if there's any sort of a difference between the temperatures and the performance of the cooler, it's highly gonna depend on this alone because the fans as well are exactly the same fans from this other cooler. So we'll see. I'm a little hesitant on saying that there's gonna be a difference in temperature. So it looks like for the AMD attachment, we have to insert these two little metal tabs on the Atmos itself before we mount it to the motherboard. So. One thing that I didn't like about this was they have AMD sockets and Intel sockets, but they put the, the screws for the sockets and the accessory box, and I thought I was going crazy for a little bit. Just keep them all on one side. But I think what they were doing was all the screws are interchangeable, so you could use the screws for the Intel or the AMD socket. So just remember that when you're installing. So we just mounted the Atmos head, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. We had to take a little bit of the computer out to get our hands in there to make sure the head was seated right. It was a little finicky to screw in, but there she is. So one thing that we cannot thank Cooler Master enough here is that they provided their own RGB control module thingamabob. Although these are not rare, they are usually not free. So it's very nice to be provided this. It makes installation a lot easier. It makes the fans making them all link up much easier. But shout out to Cooler Master for providing this in the box. It's almost honestly necessary if you have a bunch of fans in your computer. So with this thing, it makes things so much easier with using the uh Using the cooler master, using the cooler master program, not only the fans but also the header to let it sink all the way through. I think it costs between 
you could look it up, but my guess between 30 to $40 to buy one of these stupid bad boys. So that's pretty much gonna do it for the unboxing and installation process. We're about to turn it on and actually review the unit. So there's really nothing too different about installing this product versus any other product, yes, 100%. But again, the only thing that I have to give credit to them is having the extra accessories like the splitters, the RGB controller, those are huge pluses, especially that it's included for the price. That's a huge plus. So if this actually is better than their other product, that's even a bigger plus. In terms of installation and unboxing, I think they're all pretty similar. You won't see much of a difference. All right, everyone, so the Atmos is fully installed in there, and I must say it is looking pretty nice compared to the other liquid cooler RGBs I have seen out there. It is fully transparent, so it really does illuminate. All right, guys, that's gonna pretty much do it for the install unboxing section of this video, so thank you so much for watching. It has been Mark from Noisy Pixel, and we got our guy Jose here on the camera as well. But let's jump into the review. We're gonna see if this Atmos cooler is going to improve the cooling performance of our computer, or if it's just gonna make it look a little nicer. Stick around, thanks for watching. When bringing up the conversation of liquid coolers, for the most part, the only discerning factors are the style of thermal head, the size of the radiator, and what temperature does my CPU run at. We can break down each of these three topics in regards to the brand new generation of RGB CPU cooler customization brought to you by the Master Liquid Atmos. One great feature included in the box at a price of $159.99 is a Gen 2 Cooler Master RGB controller box, which fully integrates into the Master Plus software. This is how you will control the RGB RGB styling of the RGB fans included with your radiator and the CPU head. What makes this stand out from the previous generations of RGB is that the individual RGB lights or zones can be changed separately from one another. This allows for a more fine-tuned touch to the look of the CPU heads and fans, creating color blends, gradients, or patterns that better suit the look of your space. The CPU head has an inner zone and an outer zone, in which the Cooler Master logo features four RGB zones and the outer area shows eight zones. Each fan has even more to offer, providing they contain 12 RGB zones. Each of these zones are fully 8-bit color, and using the custom color effect, you can really control the outcome of these effects, only using colors that really speak to your inner color scheme. If this option does not suit your fancy, you can stick to the traditional presets, such as breathing, color cycles, and more. If you buy this product, you'd be sure to use the custom lighting as it immediately strikes as new and fresh. To give this a fair review, we took the performance readings from Cinebench and CPU temps of the Master Liquid 360L, a prior product released to Cooler Master's line of 360mm AIOs, and compared the numbers to the new Master Liquid 360 Atmos. The processor used during this review, along with previous cooler reviews, is the Ryzen 7 3700X 8 core 3.6 GHz. The Master Liquid 360L performed as follows. Single core average temperature of 61.8 degrees Celsius with a score of 1289. Multi core average temperature of 75.8 with a score of 12,315. Now, when looking at the Master Liquid 360 Atmos, this performed as follows. Single core average temperatures of 50.9 degrees Celsius with a score of 1287, which is actually less of a score than the 360L with even a way cooler temperature. Granted, cooling doesn't always mean higher performance. And to finish it off, we have a multi core average temperature of 69.1 degrees Celsius with a score of 12,524, a much higher score and a much better temperature than the 360L. Cinebench puts the CPU at maximum usage, raising the temps and core functions of the CPU to truly put the tech to the test. The general average temp of the Ryzen 7 3700X lies between 55 and 65 degrees Celsius. So you can see based on our temperatures, we are really taking advantage of the processor here. Based on the results of the test, clearly Cooler Master's new products prove improvements in overall performance and cooling, which could be needed depending on your use case. For a casual gamer, it might not make a major difference for the price difference of $50 over the Master Liquid 360L, but for someone looking to get the most out of their system, a little bit more cooling might stabilize your system. The technology and Cooler Master's AIOs seem to keep improving based on the provided results, and they keep products fresh with a new face, RGB customization, and included Gen 2. ARGB box. 
you would have to make the justification to spend $50 more for new RGB features and 6 to 7 degrees of cooling. If the Atmos isn't budget, it's certainly a way cooler product than previous generations at a cheaper price, along with including a nice RGB control box for the added cost. It will be hard to convince all buyers to make the jump in price, regardless of improved CPU conditions. Noisy Pixel is giving the Master Liquid 360 Atmos liquid cooler an A the same rank as its previous Master Liquid 360L. The product does perform better in multi-core tests whilst offering fresh RGB features, although it is quite the hike in price for an arguable, indistinguishable improvement in overall CPU performance. If it's in the budget, the Atmos does spice up your life, but you can certainly feel comfortable without trading off money when buying the Master Liquid 360L. The choice is yours, nerds. All right, everyone, that's gonna be it for the Cooler Master Atmos Liquid Cooler review, and we really hope you enjoyed the video. This has been Mark from NoisyPixel.net. I'll see you on the next one.